Welcome back. I know I said in a recent video that I was going to stop playing my late night Lee Chess Rapid games because I'm pretty sure a lot of my blunders were due to fatigue, etc. But um, apparently I'm pretty bad at keeping some promises because uh, I went ahead and played another one last night. And this is a position in which I found myself with four and a half minutes left. And here there's an only move. And I accidentally saw before I turned off the lines what that move should have been. But what I'm trying to figure out now is how I could have found it during the game. Because I know a few things about this position. I know that I've put my rook behind their passed pawn, which they're protecting from the other side. I'm trying to, you know, to make sure that they can't promote this pawn. And I've got my king here so they can't do the thing where they get it close and then check and then promote. So that's one problem. I've got to keep my rook over here just in case. But also they've moved their king over here and they're about to capture this pawn and, and I can't move to protect it. I can't move this pawn forward because it's blocked. I can't go attack that pawn because if I leave here... I, I can't go straight forward because the pawn's protecting that square, right? So I, I would have to work my way around. But if I do this, then the rook's not protecting this pawn anymore, and they can take it. And then, sure, when I move out of here, they'll be in check, but then they can go back, and they don't, they, that pawn's not there anymore. And then maybe I could come over here, but then they could come back to protect. Oh, no, they couldn't because of check. But anyway, I knew it was very complicated. And if I move my king trying to get to, to that pawn, not only are they going to get this one, but they're pretty easily going to get that one. But there's one move here that saves it, according to Stockfish. So maybe this should be a puzzle because that's a huge difference from 0, 0, 0 for this move and losing for all the other moves. Any other move loses. This one move keeps us drawn and that's dropping the rook back one. If I turn on the lines, you can see that rook to a7 is my only move that keeps us even. My second best move is rook to d6. But if I play rook to d6, it says they're going to play a2. I don't know if they would or not. They might take that pawn. Now what I wonder is if I play here, it says they're going to go back to defend that pawn, their, their G pawn, but I don't know if that's going to be an only move for them. I, I assume that's why I'm moving back is to aim at that pawn and, and keep an eye on this one. But if I take that one, am I going to be in time to protect this one? I mean, to, you know, to keep an eye on the A file. I don't know. I'm also wondering how I would be able to find that during a game. I guess, I guess what I have to focus on most is that this is my advanced pawn. And I've been frustrated by that pawn stopping it. If I can go up here and threaten that pawn, I'm only two squares from promotion. And maybe that's why they have to come back. But let's move and see if they have to come back. No, they have multiple moves. And if I added moves to this, I don't know how many moves they have that would keep them drawn. Rook to b1 is one of them. And I'm not sure why. Is that because of a check? But it says if they played that, then I would take this. But we would still be drawn. The king to g6 is their other one. Well, I changed the setting to show five lines and it says there's a ton of moves that keep them drawn. Rook to b1, rook to c1, rook to f1 keeps them drawn, a2 keeps them drawn, or king to g6. And there might be more, but five lines is the most that this engine will allow me to do here. Okay, so they do not have an only move, but let's say they played this one. Okay, then I would have multiple moves. Rook to a4 or rook to a8. Now I assume rook to a8 aims to check back here. What would they play if I did that? If I played rook to a8, am I threatening mate? No, because they could always come toward it. What am I threatening? It says they can play rook to f1, which I guess threatens this pawn. But again, if they move off of there, it says I'm going to take their past pawn. So what would they play? a2 is another one. So what if they played a2? Then I'm going to check them, and they're going to come toward me. I think that's their only legal move, wasn't it? Yeah, that's their only legal move. And then I'm going to go back over here. But again, they have multiple moves. If they play one of the ones that gets off the A file, I'm going to take the A pawn. Well, that makes sense. But they could also just come back to G6. But if they do, I can check them again. They can't move back because of my rook. They can't go here or here because of the pawn. They can't go here because of my king. They have to come toward me. And then I go back to A8. But again, they have multiple moves. Like H5? It showed H5 for a second. Or rook to B1. But again, if they play a rook move, I'm going to take the A pawn but we're still drawn. So if I were in a similar situation in the future, would I be able to find this? Rook to a7 is my only move. And would you be able to find that? But I didn't find that. I, I played this, thinking maybe I could come down here and help stop that pawn, but, but that's it because uh, they have a number of things they can do now. They could have played a2, but they can take this pawn. They took that pawn. Now they have a passed pawn over here. And apparently I forgot I was headed toward the A pawn, so I moved this pawn, which makes it even worse. Now they can play this, because now they're going to be able to check me and promote, and I'm going to have to give up my rook for it. So I just made a move, thinking when I get out of check, they would be in check, but they moved over here, so that wouldn't happen. And I don't know why I did that, but anyway, they checked me and then promoted, so...
that's how that ended. It, it went on a little further, and I believe they ended up checkmating me. But anyway, yeah, only move. Uh, let me know if you think you would have found that or if you spotted it before I showed it here on the engine. As always, I appreciate you spending your time here, and I'll see you next time.